everyone, so I'm back with another haul video. This is going to be another thrift haul for my online stores. And today I went to Goodwill and another local thrift store. At Goodwill they were having the weekly dollar tag sale, so that means that one color tag everything in the store that that is that color is only a dollar so i picked up a lot of stuff today you can see from my receipt that i had a very good time and bought a ton of items and it came to only 81.50 which i think is pretty good when you see everything that i picked up and then at the second store that i went to which is just a small local thrift store i um, spent 12 dollars there so not bad so i'm just gonna go ahead and get right into it i'll start with one of the items that i picked up at the local thrift store first and it is just this nice nightgown from fredericks of hollywood and it may be vintage, I'm not 100% certain, could be from the 90s. And what I really liked about it was this keyhole cutout in the front and the cute little bows. And it's also a really pretty color. So I think that will do well. I sell a lot of Fredericks and Victoria's Secret stuff. So I was pleased with that. And then I also picked up this Nygaard tank top but I was drawn to this because it's brand new with tags and Nygaard is a um, brand that I do pretty well with. I used to be a buyer for Dillard's department stores and one of the most popular brands there in the women's department was Nygaard. So I tend to keep an eye out for that if I can get it cheap and it's still like a relatively cute and modern style. And then the last thing that I got from there, I'm gonna save for last because it's my favorite item that I got today. So I'm gonna hold on that one and I'm gonna jump right into the Goodwill stuff. So a lot of this is bread and butter stuff. Um, not necessarily super amazing, but you know, amazing deals and things that I know I can sell just because I've sold similar brands and styles before. So the first item is Torrid. Just a nice flowy torrid tank top and it's got these fun strings in the back. And I just really loved the hem, like this handkerchief hem. This looks good on everybody and I really liked the print. It seemed like a very nice modern style. And it's not that old of a piece. Um, I don't know if you know, but torrid does have season tags on it. So you can see when it's from and it's usually just underneath the main tag. So I always look at that and if it's within like the past three years or so, then I'll usually pick it up if it's a good price. So the next thing that I got was this Tor or Torin <laughs> Prana one piece swimsuit. And it is just a nice boho chic style, like a lot of Prana stuff. And it's got this cutout in the back and I really, really like this. Prana is one of my favorite brands to sell. I paid a little bit more for this, uh, I think around $6, but I think Prana usually goes for good money, especially a really nice piece like this that's in such good condition and so in trend. And then this is definitely not something I would usually grab because it's just pretty much unbranded, but it's in excellent condition brand new, still has the tag on it, which I'm debating if I should take off or not because it's just a Ross tag. I don't know how much that adds to it, so I may actually remove the tag. But it's just a cute, trendy sweatshirt. And because it was a dollar and a good style, I decided to pick it up. And let's see, the next piece is from Columbia. And that is one of my favorite brands to get especially around this time of year. I feel like in the spring and in the summertime, people are looking for this kind of outdoor weather gear that they can wear like camping or fishing, hiking. Those are really popular activities in the summertime. So that's when I try to stock up on stuff like that. And another thing that has been doing well for me this summer is um, like flowy, boho chic looking pants, like casual pants. 
So I found these today and they're just flare um, little paisley pants. They're made from like a crinkled rayon and they're by the brand O'Neill, which is a good quality brand. Not something I would always gravitate towards, but because of style and because it is a nice quality brand and a, a pretty color, a good size, I decided to pick it up. It was very reasonably priced. And then I also grabbed these skinny jeans from LC Lauren Conrad, which is a Kohl's brand but it does do well it won't go for very much money because it's not very expensive to begin with it's just from kohl's but it's popular and it sells easily so if i can pick it up at the bins or if i can get it on dollar day that's a brand that i will get and then the next thing i got was an item from stitch fix it is by the brand pixley and it's a flowy tank top. And I like the back because it's got these little cute buttons going down the back. It just seemed really nice and on trend. Like something that somebody could wear to work. And that was only a dollar as well. This is a brand that I used to get all the time and I really don't anymore because it doesn't do as well as it once did but it's just Daniel Rain. I think they sell this at like Nordstrom and places like that. And it's just a Swiss dot floral print tunic tank. I thought this one was pretty cute though. And it's great for the summer, nice and lightweight. And it does sell, it's just that it doesn't go for very much. Like that will probably sell for around 12 to $14 on eBay, which is not that bad when you are only paying a dollar. And then the next piece is just a cotton J. Crew tank top. And I think J. Crew is also another one of the brands that has like the season tag on it so you can see how old it is. But I thought that this was a pretty classic style regardless of what season it is and it's in really good condition. So I grabbed that. And this is another hit or miss um, brand that I only get just depending on style and price, but it's Saks Fifth Avenue. You would think that those pieces would go for a lot of money, but they don't always do super well. And I'm gonna try to move the camera a little bit because the lighting right now is not super great. You can see a little bit of my mess over here, like my mannequin and my death pile of things waiting to be listed, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? You can see a little bit of my mess. <laughs> and then this is a total would not buy unless it's a dollar and new with tags. But since it was a dollar and new with tags, I picked it up. It's called Max Edition. I'm actually not too super familiar with this brand, but I guess it's carried at Steinmart because it does have a Steinmart tag. But I did notice that it said that it originally retailed for $78 and even the Steinmart price was $40. So I don't know. This, is, this might actually be something decent. Let me know down in the comments if you know it. But it actually does seem like nice quality. It's just a flowy t-shirt that's got like ruching on the bottom. It's pretty cute. Man, I feel like I've got like a total halo over my head. <laughs> Is that, I hope that's a little bit better. Okay, so let's see. Okay, this is another piece that I got based on style. I had not heard of this brand before, but what drew me to this is that it's made from like this slinky kind of acetate material. And for whatever reason, that kind of stuff does really well for me. And I'll put that in the title too. I'll put Slinky. And it's called um, Mesmerize. So I, I'm not familiar with that brand, but I thought that this style could do well for a more mature lady. And that Slinky acetate material is what gravitated me to it. 
I usually pick that up if it's a dollar, especially if it's from um, Chico's Travelers. That stuff sells really well for me. And then the next piece is from 41 Hawthorne, which is another Stitch Fix brand. And it's just a nice purple wrap dress. So great for work. And I actually have this top in my store already. Another piece that I got on Dollar Day like a couple weeks ago. Uh, but 41 Hawthorne is a pretty good, nice quality brand. Stitch Fix items are usually good quality, so I grabbed that. And then this is another Nygaard piece, but this is Peter Nygaard. This should do pretty well. It's just a nice classic open front waterfall style vest. It's like a duster vest because it's pretty long, at least on the sides. Basic stuff like that does very well though. And it's a nice casual piece. And then I grabbed some Lauren Conrad. Again, one more Lauren Conrad piece. It's just so pretty though. It's so cute. I, I know it won't go for very much, but it will sell so easily. And it's so perfect for the summer, great for like if you're going to a wedding and you want a cute like wedding guest dress. I think that this is really fun. And then, so this is what I was referring to when I was saying Chico's Travelers and Acetate. And this is what the tag looks like. I pick these pieces up all the time as long as they're only a couple dollars because Chico's Traveler stuff is probably one of my best selling items. And it's not my personal taste, but it sells. And that's the most important thing. And Chico's has vanity sizing. So you may want to look up their size chart online because this says it's a size one, which you would think, oh, like a junior size one is really tiny, but actually a size one is a medium in their sizing. So just a little tip if you do decide to sell some items from Chico's, be sure to check out their size chart because their sizing is not the same as standard sizing. And then, in that same vein, I picked up another Chico's item. Another thing that I look for with their stuff is these cardigans. These open front waterfall cardigans and kimonos. Those do well and they can usually sell for around $25 and they sell typically within the first few days of posting them. So I love grabbing those. And this is not the greatest brand in the world. No offense, Target, but <laughs> it's from Verona, which I don't even think Target has anymore because they have all their new brands, but I loved the style of this and it's so summery. And this is another one that I think could be cute, like if you're going to a wedding or maybe for a date night. It's just had a nice romantic vibe to it. And I think that this is just a nice classic style. I mean, this is something that you can wear for years and years and it will not go out of style. And then this is a Dillard's brand. This is Cremu. And it's a pretty emerald green pleated sheath dress. This is another one that I was thinking could be like a nice wedding guest or like mother of the bride type of dress. It's in excellent condition. Hoping that will go in like the 30s, like low 30s for that. Let's see. This is another romantic date night dress. So pretty and sweet. Very classic style. Strapless and it is from Ann Taylor and it's lilac and white. It's in brand new condition. It does not have the tags, but it, it just looks like it's never even been worn. It's so pretty. And a lot of women like those like fit and flare cocktail dresses. I mean, that looks good on everybody, so. And sometimes I like to pick up work staples like this. This is just 
um, the Worthington Perfect Trouser. It is brand new with tags, which is really the only reason I got it. I wouldn't normally buy the brand Worthington, and I honestly kind of stay away from just basic plain black pants because the market is so saturated with those. But when they're brand new with tags and I can offer a really great price on them, I will. Okay, so we're getting into a few of the nicer items that I got today. So this is one that I'm pretty excited about. I don't always love picking up Vera Bradley because as you probably know, it can be very saturated and that's really brought the value of them down. But this one, I make an exception for because this is actually really pretty. I mean, I actually find myself being drawn to this, which would not be my typical style, but I think maybe because it's got like the quilting and it's just like a very streamlined, sophisticated look, I can actually kind of see digging this. <laughs> and I think because it's not the usual piece and it is so classic and sophisticated and a little bit more rare, this one seemed to have a lot better comps. So. Don't quote me on this too much because I only got to do like quick preliminary research, but it seemed like these nice solid uh, colored like turn lock flat bags, it seemed like they were going for good money, possibly even around like $60. And this was very inexpensive and looks like it's in brand new condition. So I figured I would just take a chance on it and see what I can get on that. But I don't think it's gonna go for as cheap as most Vera bags would go for. So if you've ever sold something like that before, let me know in the comments. I'm really curious to see how it does. This is another thing that I absolutely love. This is a anthropology dress and it is by the brand Vanessa Virginia. And it's just, so romantic and pretty. It's got these flowy bell sleeves. It has embroidery on the chest. And I can just picture somebody wearing this on their summer vacation with like a hat and a beach bag. And they would just be so stylish. And I want to show you what the tag looks like in case you ever come across this brand. This is from Anthropology. Hope you can see that. I haven't checked the comps on this, but I didn't pay very much for it. I think it was about $4 with my coupon, so I think it should be an easy profit maker. But I hope that that will go for good money. And then these I'm super excited about too. These are rag and bone jeans. This is the first time that I've ever grabbed rag and bone before. And they're just a cropped flare hem black pant. And they're in such good condition. So I didn't check the comps yet on these either. I just know that Rag and Bone is a really good brand. So I felt confident that I would make my $4 many times over on those, I'm hoping. But those are really pretty. And then another brand that I really get excited about are these square tag cabby pieces. And this is just um, a multi-level marketing brand, kind of like LuLaRoe, but it's a lot more valuable than LuLaRoe. And this was just such a beautiful, in mint condition duster. And the comps on it were really good. For one thing, it wasn't super saturated. And it was going for around like 35 to $40, it looked like. And if you're not familiar with Cabby, you can check the tags and it will have a style number on it, a four digit style number. And when you search for it, look using that style number and then you'll see the exact same item come up and then you'll get a really good idea of if the item is oversaturated, how much it's going for. Sometimes you can find stock photos that way as well. Next thing is another anthropology item. And this time it's from the brand Folding Horses. And I've seen people talk about it in their hauls, but I've never come across Folding Horses before, so I'm excited to find a new brand. 
and it's just this twist front t-shirt dress. It's got a really flattering fit to it though. I feel like this would really complement a lot of people's body types and it's very, very pretty. So I'm hoping that this will go maybe like around 25 to 30. If I'm undervaluing it, let me know. But that was what I was thinking. Just off preliminary comp searches. And I'm kind of getting a lot of Dillard's brands today, I'm noticing, because I picked up another one of their house brands, Reba. And this is Reba McIntyre's line that she has with them. And they're just these nice studded jeans. The back kind of reminds me a little bit of like a Miss Me jean. Now, I've only sold Reba one other time. It was a nice embellished maxi dress but it sold within a few days of posting it and it sold for like, I can't remember if it was like 25 or $30, but I was really happy with that sale and I was really excited over how quickly it sold. So ever since then, if I can find Reba cheap, I'll give it a shot. And this is just a staple, total bread and butter item, just a plain pair of black ponty knit pants. But this ponty knit type material, it's very flattering. It's very comfortable, so it sells really well. A lot of women really like to wear it, myself included. And these are um, Liz Claiborne Petite, and they're Petite Large, so it's a good size. So, like I said, I don't typically like to buy plain, ba plain black pants, but sometimes I will on Dollar Tag or at the bins. And then, just got some plain Banana Republic jeans, but I grabbed these because they're dark wash and flare legs, so they're a nice modern style. And Banana Republic jeans do decent. Not gonna get crazy prices for them. Not something that's gonna, you know, drive tons of traffic or anything, but they're an easy flip. Then the next thing is this Victoria's Secret nightgown, but I like these kind of vintagey, unique nightgowns, and I liked how this one had open sides that just tied. I liked the weird print, and I thought that this would be really eye-catching in my Poshmark closet, and I'll probably put it up on eBay and Depop as well. And I mentioned earlier that I like stuff from Chico's and I like their kimonos specifically. So here's another one that I found and I'm hoping to get around $25 on this and it's just a bright color, very summery, could look good over a swimsuit or just with a t-shirt and jeans and it's from Editions by Chico's. That's just another one of their lines. And it's in excellent light new condition. Okay, I promise I'm getting close to the end. I've only got a small handful of stuff left, so bear with me. Okay, so the next dollar item is this very sweet and adorable Cinderella-themed sweatshirt. And it says, if the shoe fits, right? Yep, if the shoe fits. And it's got... Cinderella's mice on it in the glass slipper and I always liked Cinderella growing up so I was drawn to this and it is genuine Disney brand I think that will do well I sell a lot of Disney stuff and this is kind of funky I know it's not my personal style but it is cute in a way, <laughs> but what I got this for is the fact that it's linen and linen tops like this in the summer with more mature ladies, it does well. So I figured I'd give it a shot. Oh, and that is by JM Collection, which is just a Macy's brand, which actually surprisingly Macy's brands sell pretty well too. Okay, and this was something I was excited to get for a dollar because it's a good brand. Lucy, I don't know, you see the tab. 
So they make activewear, athleisure, yoga stuff. And this is just a nice comfy sweatshirt. I actually own this sweatshirt in black and gray and I love it. It's very comfortable. And I think this is one of those, oh, I thought it had the thumb holes in it, but it doesn't. But it does have these like zipper cuffs. So that's a nice detail. That should do pretty well. Okay, only a few items left. So the next thing are these Donald Planer sandals. And they are genuine leather. Donald Planer is a nice high-end shoe brand. And these were only $3 with my coupon, so not bad. And they're in really good condition. So I figured I'd get those since summer sandals are doing well. This one, I wasn't sure if I should get it or not, but I decided to go ahead just because they're quirky and unique and they're Tommy Hilfiger. They're just these Western inspired boot cut jeans. I guess they got a tiny bit of a flare at the bottom. Nothing too crazy though. And then they've got a little bit of a Western embroidery on the back pockets. And with Tommy, one of the things that I like is that they'll have a tag on it that shows the season. So I know that these came out in 2005. I wish that they were 90s, because obviously 90s Tommy would do a little bit better than early 2000s Tommy, but I think they're pretty cool. And I like things like that, that are unique and quirky. And then, speaking of which, I grabbed another late 90s, early 2000s item. It's this cool Esprit bag. I love selling Esprit. It's one of my favorite vintage brands to find. It was one of my favorite brands growing up. I used to wear it all the time. And I thought that this just had a really nice cut to it. Like I like how it looks very unique. It's very nicely structured. It totally looks very early 2000s. And I feel like those kind of like mini unique structured 2000s bags are coming back and this was only a dollar which i very rarely find nice bags or shoes on the dollar tag but i was really excited when i saw this i usually will always grab spree pieces as long as they're in good condition and still kind of have a little bit of a modern style to it and then this is really just for me it's just this adrian Vitadini, hope I'm saying that right, um, little leather wallet because if you know me, I tend to carry my money around in just a paper envelope and it's really lame and it's time to be the 35 year old that I am and have like an actual wallet. <laughs> so since it was a dollar and I was drawn to the color and I think it's real leather, though I'm not certain, I decided that this would be the one. It's pretty cute. So, and it's small, I can just throw it in my bag. Okay, so you made it this far. So I saved the best item for last. Um, so this is something that I picked up at the first thrift store, not Goodwill, but it was only $5. And it is this nice, real leather Brahmin bag. And I'm gonna show you the decal on it. Hopefully you can see that. It kind of looks a little bit like Dooney and Burke, but it is called Brahmin, B-R-A-H-M-I-N, which is a really good high-end leather maker, really nice leather bags that you can find at department stores like Dillard's. And I was checking the comps on this and they were um, up over $100. Um, some of these bags can retail for as much as around $400 brand new. So the comps on them looked really good. And I only paid $5 and it's in such perfect, like almost like brand new condition. Even the inside is really nice. And it's made from like this soft kind of like velvety material inside. I know you probably can't see it super well, but it's just a very beautifully made bag. I can tell why they're expensive because you can tell they use really nice materials and they even have like the feet on the bottom 
and even the corners of this are in great shape like they probably only used it maybe one or two times especially with how pristine the inside is like there's no pen marks or lipstick or anything like it's just beautiful and i mean it is kind of a little bit more of a mature style not something that i personally would wear but i still really see the beauty in it and think that it's gonna sell for a good money of over a hundred dollars which is an amazing return on five dollars which is why i do this job but like it's just so fun to see what you can flip items for. And I think for the 80 or 90 that I spent today, I got a lot of stuff and a lot of really good brands from bread and butter, everyday cheap flip quick sales to more higher end long tail sales. And that's what my method really is. Like I try to drive up my um, daily sales with a lot of like the cheap flips that I know for sure I can get a lot of every single day and then I try to sprinkle in some of the higher end stuff and that so far has been a strategy that seems to be working well for me so that's why a dollar day is really important for me because I can pick up some of the nicer higher end stuff but then also get for a great price all the cheap flips that I'm going to sell for like 10 to 15 dollars. So I'm really excited about this haul. I can't wait to post it and I'm going to include all my shop like handles and names and everything down in the section below in the comment section in case you want to check any of these items out or you can always leave a comment and let me know that you're interested in something. Thank you for watching.